But S is involved in that too. And now, of course, we've got Diane Feinstein and everybody saying, well, uh, Russian collusion, we're shifting from that to obstruction by Trump. Well, that's not a thing that he can be indicted for. He's the president of the United States. He can say anything he wants. Yeah, they could take it to the, the Congress, you know, to the House of Representatives and draw up articles of impeachment and then try them in the Senate or, again, use the 25th Amendment. But like I said, ladies and gentlemen, you've got people like Matt Bracken, Craig Sawyer, and all of the people in the government that are waking up now and now have the courage to come forward. So let's see what Soros and the Rothschilds and now, the Saudis are kind of out of it now, as you know, if you've been watching the queue. And the Rothschilds are on their way out. Soros is still in there dabbling, but it's about time for the Delta Force to swoop in on him. And that could happen any day. Georgie, any day. All right. I think I've probably worn everybody out here. I think I've said everything I wanted. Let's take a look here and see. Don't you like my note? <laughs> you know, I think I've been getting like two to three hours sleep a night, if that, because of all that's going on. And uh, there are people out there that are dedicated to standing up and making this restoration of the Constitutional Republic of the United States happen. I remember an ecclesiastical leader many years ago. I'll just tell you who he was. Most of you know I was Mormon at one time. <laughs> Got kicked out of that like I get kicked out of a lot of things. I've been a lot of religions. I've been, uh, when I was growing up, my, my mom, well, it's a long story, but I went through a number of denominations and spiritual systems looking around. And, you know, a lot of people say, well, you're, you know, you're flighty or whatever. No, you're searching. It's what's in your heart and why, why you're doing it. And that's, that was really the, the whole idea, uh, continue to search. But uh, there was a, an apostle of the Mormon church. He later became president for a short time. His name is Ezra Taft Benson. Now, I don't have a lot, you gotta understand, there are things I know about the Mormon church at this point I don't wanna go into here. I'm not pointing any bad fingers at Ezra by any means. He worked under Eisenhower as, a, as the Secretary of Agriculture, I believe. <clears throat> Good man, as far as I can tell. But there are other problems in the Mormon Church, which you know, I'm not going to get into here. Uh, but Ezra Taft Benson said something that I thought, you know, even at the time that I, I saw this, I thought, how could that be? He said that the flag of the United States, the American flag, would fly through the millennium, in other words, through Christ's reign. Now, a lot of people are going to get really upset about that statement. But look at the flag as a symbol of liberty, the gospel, the good news. The perfect law of liberty, as James explained, the apostle James, the brother of Jesus. The scriptures that say where the spirit of God is, there is liberty. That's really what it was all about. That's really what this freedom shrine is all about the manifestation of this hope in men's hearts, in the hearts of mankind. No, I'm not going to be politically correct. Those days are gone, at least for me. But there are times when I want to try to be a little more inclusive. All right. So President Trump says we... We're at one flag, and that's the American flag. We're all one people. We're all Americans here in the United States. And we're not going to force our concept of government on anybody else. Not anymore. We're going to set the example of how to do righteous liberty. We have to clean up things first. This war is real, both internally and externally. And it's been done by people who misused the goodness that came forth out of the revolution of 1776. So ladies and gentlemen, I've got to get back to work now. I'll upload this. It'll take me a little while to edit it. I have to have time so I can get back out on the road. 
but I wanted to leave these thoughts with you today. And thanks to all of the people out there that have been working so hard, and I can't name them all. You know I've named a few. Tracy Beans, Scott Anthony, Imperator Rex, Thomas Wichter, BP Earthwatch. These are, you know, YouTube channels, some of them. Matt Bracken, Craig Sawyer, Jordan Sather of uh, Destroying the Illusion, Sean Hannity, Steve Bannon, the Trump family, Rand Paul, Ron Paul, <laughs> End Times Reporting, Jake Morfonios, Shepard Ambulus of IntelliHub, and yes, even Alex Jones and the crew of InfoWars. Thank you to all of you. God bless you. God bless President Trump. And God bless the United States of America.